Hi, welcome back to this family adventures. I'm Lauren. I'm Gwen. And the lights seem extra bright. <laughs> <laughs> I need sunglasses. I don't think so. Don't touch them. So. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna dim them down. You're gonna. Just gonna I just had a headache, so it might just be from that. Um. So today we went to a new restaurant in Disney Springs. Long waited. Yeah. Restaurant because it took a very long time to build that. Mm hmm Because they were, it was under construction when we moved here. No. Was it? I'm pretty sure. I don't recall that, but I just seen like for Yeah, they there. had that ripped up. I think they had that ripped up. So we went to Bongo's, or what was it called? Bongo's? Uh, in 2018? So welcome back yeah. to Vlogmas Day. Mm -hmm. 22 Two. and I'm gonna go into having calendars while you chit chat oh I thought you're you're yeah. not starting with your beer you're switching up yeah at switching. this end of this yes end of the line here I don't know I'm gonna like this we got the butter you did that oh we um those, uh, those like, hard ones. Coffee. Yeah, the toffee ones. So yeah, it just was a long, a long time coming, but it's a beautiful, beautiful restaurant, as you will see in our book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally your vibe, huh? Huh? Totally your vibe. Yes. I feel like this looks the same. It says it's on the lake because it does sit like you can. West Coast style IPA. But if it was Summer House on the beach. Well, Summer House is the chain and then it all depends on where it's at, isn't it? I, I don't know. So there's Summer House on the farm? You're not. What is this called? I didn't pour you on. No. West Coast. We don't like IPAs. I don't like any of them. They're okay. Aren't they? Usually dark. Some no. <laughs> where happier? Where have you been the past? Happier. <laughs> Twenty one days. Well, what's the IPA stand for? Indian Pale Ale. And what does that mean? It's a pale ale, so it's clear. Not clear, but. It's well, then not why don't you like pale ales if you like a lager, which are lighter? So there is a there is a summer house in Siesta Key. And it's called steak and seafood. Mm. It's like tart. Oh. Bitter. Bitter. Um, There's a on. summer house restaurant at the Orlando airport. Is it called summer house in the airport? It says <laughs> For summer real? house Orlando. Is it the same thing? Because they made some, I, I was on the impression this was the first one. I mean, not. I knew that it was a, it's a West Coast. I thought it was. It's a, a California based restaurant, I thought. I could be wrong. I if you like potato salad, I highly recommend the deviled eggs. If you like deviled eggs and potato salad. Delish. Unfortunately, right. we didn't get to try the cookies, but you'll see. Oh, it says here. She uh, needs her wine. The place where summer never ends, located in Chicago, North. Uh, well, if you've ever been to this restaurant, but, let us know what your what's, thoughts uh, are. Uh, they where's the, same where's uh, the President's Hospital? They always go, you know, if they ever need. It's in Maryland. It's North Beth Estella. Whatever, Las Vegas, and Orlando. So there's Bethes four. Oh, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to. Bethesda, but yeah. Bethesda. I'm not gonna be able to say it's that. Bethesda. Do right? that, you and Lauren. Do that to me. He's trying to put it. He's running in his back pocket. You don't have any back pocket. Well, I think I'm almost 
Yeah, two bottles off. Officially, um, good thing that wasn't open. Um, ready for Christmas. A couple more things to wrap. I need to run the store for a couple more things. Have to figure out dinner, but cook cookies. Are you baking more cookies? Yeah. Oh shoot. Red blend. And this is from France. What we cookies are you baking? Peanut butter blossoms. Oh, because for everybody's gonna eat them all. Well even though even chocolate chips are but they are we're saying this and then it's the next video is baking, so we shouldn't be saying that. What well, else the other ones? Oh. The cream cheese. The chocolate chips are already right, starting to, do a to second feel back. taste. I say it's the tins. I'm telling you, that plastic Tupperware. You need plastic containers. Not tins. Well, isn't there Spurs a Tupperware Museum here? I know. I yeah, thought we should have had them. But they're only open certain days of the week for weird hours. Good. It's very. Can you pronounce that? We too, pew. Yes, yes to, to you. That's yes you. to no. Well, I don't know. That's that can be you. It's not like we. Oui, oui. But that's. I have to look that up. I'm not sure what that is. Um. It's heavy. Uh, I don't know how to describe wines, but it's not either. I'm getting used to them. It's not. It's not dry. You can yes, you can. See, I know a little bit of French. You didn't know French. that. I said yes, you. I didn't know what can was, but I said yes, you. That's what I said too. No, you did not. Rewind the footage because I said it. Um. I said I just said I didn't know what that word was. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Make some lace. Then I told her that was not very um refined. Refined putting ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Putting ice on my wine. But hey, I can't. You're the one drinking oh, it. No. Now I changed it. I don't like. Mm -mm. I guess it's better without being cold. Now there's like a funny taste on the back of my throat. Well, then drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> okay. All right, James. Jams and crackers. There's a pin on the bottom. Oh. I feel like have a backer. I don't know next year I'll get this. I mean, I've enjoyed it, but I what, feel like hands? yeah, I feel like they're very similar. I think out, out of all three. your advent calendars, so the jams really have the most. most. Yeah, I do agree with that, but it's so similar, and it was really expensive. Well, I'm gonna get a super expensive one next year. <laughs> what? I'm getting a candle one next year. Candles? What? Mm -hmm. From what? Trader I Joe's? I watched Jen LaForge's. Trader Joe's I really like her. One. I like the one she has. And right uh -oh. now, if I would buy right now, <laughs> it's $210. But I think they're really nice candles. Was it from Trader Joe's? Mm -mm. Trader Joe's has one. How big are the candles? All different sizes. She gets photos. She's also got a um, the sniffer. She got a tool that like fix the wick if somehow you know straighten the wick or. Is it a brand you know? Oh, she's gotten a diffuser with reeds. No, but I think it's you know looks a nice. She said she's been burning them and they've all smelled so good. Hmm. I can't read what that says. Um, uh, orange mandarin passion fruit. Hmm. I'm not big on passion fruit, so mm. 
-hmm. It's thick. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I'm a little nervous. Or she's gonna taste sweet. <laughs> but I smell like the passion fruit. Yeah. I don't care for that one. No, thank you. Mm -mm. I My cards go are getting stale. No, they're not. Mm -hmm, mine was. I don't think so. I think it's a little burnt. Oh, no, there's not much of a crunch. It's like... Okay. We have... Oh, you like this one. I don't even know if this is supposed to be a bench. I'll wear my new readers. Thank you, Tony. Did you take the sticker off? Yeah. <laughs> 101 Dalmatian snow puppies. On the day before Christmas, the Dalmatians and their humans were very busy. The Dalmatian puppies were super excited for this would be their very first Christmas. Inside, the puppies watched as Nanny put some boxes with bows beneath the tree. What is she doing? They asked their parents, Pongo and Perdita. Humans give presents at Christmas to show they are they care about each other. Perdita explained, let's give our humans a present, Lucky said. I know just what to give them, Raleigh shouted, running to fetch his best bone. Humans don't chew bones, silly, Lucky explained. I'm surprised he gave up his bone. Yeah, they're going to leave a nice big pile of poop. Because Raleigh's nice. the one who's later that, I'm hungry. Late, later that afternoon, the puppies went for a walk. As they trotted down the path to the village, they saw a group of children playing in the snow. We could give our humans a ball for Christmas, Penny said. I don't think Roger and Anita play fetch, Lucky answered. We need a special gift. But what? Yeah. <laughs> I left you hanging for 22 days. <laughs> so we have our pin, right? There it is. It's you. Okay, so, how did Santa pay for his sleigh? Don't know. Oh, wait, I read that wrong. How much? How much did Santa, did I say that or how did, how much did Santa pay for his sleigh? Nothing. It was on the house. Oh, I mean, this is fitting. But we keep getting the same ones. Dalmatian. Yep. So we got a Dalmatian Christmas tree. I want, I'm starting to wonder if they ever made any other ones. Because that's crazy. Well, we got. We got Peter Alice. Pan, Dumbo. Well, I guess at this point, we probably. Just Peter Pan, Alice, Dumbo. And Dalmatians is four. Did we get Robin Hood? Mm -mm. No, was Robin Hood one of them? I forget. Even our choices. Alright, well, I got one of these. Usually you get these. Should you do them? What is it? The riddles. Yeah, you wanna, want me to do them? Yeah, what? Okay. So, the question is, and now it's a riddle, so it has an answer. Okay, I would hope so. <laughs> uh, I'm where Christmas Day follows Boxing Day, and December is before November. What am I? 
Repeat that. Um, where Christmas Day follows Boxing Day, and December is before November. What am I? I'm not gonna. Tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a book. It was the night before Christmas. Yeah. So, I'm where Christmas Day, Christmas Day, follows Boxing Day, and December is before November. Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Give up? Yeah. It's kind of silly. It's a dictionary. Because Christmas Day is a C, so Boxing Day. Okay, so I'm no, no Christmas. explanations. That was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> two mothers and two daughters each ate a portion of Christmas dinner, but only three portions were eaten in total. <laughs> How? How did you buy? <laughs> two mothers and two daughters each ate a portion of Christmas dinner, but only three portions were eaten in total. How? Because one mother was the daughter. I don't know. One daughter was the mother. <laughs> this is weird. I don't like these You're questions. You're kind of along oh, the right. Uh, yeah. Brainiac, yeah. So it was a grandmother who... Is also a mother, a mother and daughter having Christmas dinner together. So it's a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter. So there's two mothers so right. and two daughters, but there's only three meals. Gwen, <laughs> Gwen's like, <laughs> okay. That's not something I can have somebody read to me at the end. I have yeah. to look at it. During Christmas, I travel all across the world. But I stay in one corner. What am I? A stamp. I've heard about yeah. that. A postage stamp. That's like a, a real, a real, a riddle, like. With Richie. Living with Richie, you yeah. hear a lot of these. Even if your Christmas stocking is empty, you still might find me there. What am I? Repeat that. If... Even if your Christmas stocking is empty, you still might find me there. What am I? The hook? No. So why would it be empty? A hole? Something might have fell through. A hole? A hole. <laughs> That's so stupid. A hole. Is that the end of all? <laughs> nope, oh, got God. two more. What is at the end of Christmas? Boxing Day. Mm. New Year's. No, oh, it's New very Year's. simple. Think of it in the simplest of terms. Night what is at the end of Christmas? Nighttime. Simpler than that. <laughs> Dinner? No. Yes. <laughs> you give up? No. Well... What is at the end of Christmas? Miss. The Christmas. letter S. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, when you go to cut down a Christmas tree, how far can you walk into the forest? When you go to when well, you go to cut down a Christmas tree. tree, how far can you walk into the forest? You're kind of down there. Oh, uh, this one's it. This one's truly a riddle. When you go into it, when you go to cut down a Christmas tree, how far can you walk into the forest? I'm sticking with my answer. What? Like as far as you cut the tree down? No, it's halfway. Then you'll be walking out of the forest. So if you're walking into the forest and you get halfway, and you keep going, you're walking out of the forest. So how far can you walk into the forest? Halfway. Well, what's the point of cutting the tree down? <laughs> I know, you don't cut the tree just... down. 
Mom doesn't find a perfect tree, so we keep going. That's what I said, I'm 10 going. Going. So these were, uh, they have them listed as Christmas riddles, but. Mm. They can get right back in the box. Is that everything? That is everything. Yeah, that's it. So we hope you liked, we'll insert a clip here of our Disney Springs. Did level. you guys do an outro? I guess we'll do one in case we don't. Oh, right, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hold the camera all the way to the restaurant. So everyone can see your phone. Here. So, welcome back to our channel. Or, oh, no, I should say that because it's going to be part of the vlog. Yeah, wow. Well, you show the menu. Huh, let's start over and be like we're at someone else on the lake. I said that. Hi everyone. We're in the bushes, in the vines. And we're at Summer House on the lake. <laughs> Sorry, you can't get everybody in here. No, it's not my fault. But this is the menu. So we have some starters. Do you want any starters? I think we should try them. Okay, so you saw her come over. She just came over and we ordered the deviled eggs to compare them to uh, Chef Hart Homecoming, but these say potato salad, so they're going to be totally different. So, and then we also got these cheesy cheesy drink dream puffs. That's hard to say. Cheesy dream puffs. puffs. She puffs. said they're like um, cheesy bread, but cheesy. So we love our cheese. So we're sitting in the sunroom. There's different um, areas. I think I'm gonna um. I think I'm going to try the crispy chicken sandwich. You want to try? You want to do the um? Pickle yeah. No, get the crispy chicken sandwich. Do you want to do the um tacos? No, he wants the crispy chicken sandwich. She wants it too. I'm gonna no, let her get that. I'll get something else. You want to try the? Want me to get pizza? Can we split? Can I get him? That's what I said, and you were like. Let's do more. Is that right? Yeah. So we got these are the cheesy dream puffs. I just took a bite. I don't care for it. It tastes eggy to me. Richie liked it though. Right? You liked it? And then we got um the potato salad potato salad deviled eggs. They got capers on it, so I will like them. I just, I just, I thought the cheese would be melted. They're really good. Uh, it's more solid. But you like them? What do you think? I just tried the, that deviled egg. Oh my gosh. I, I just want, I should cancel my order and just get another thing of deviled eggs. They're so good. Yeah, me too. But it's it's because it's potato salad, and it reminds me of my mom's potato salad. Yeah, like if they have a side menu, they should have potato salad. Okay, so I also told they asked if Richie wanted a kids menu. Like he typically doesn't order anymore off the kids menu, but I wanted to grab it. 
to show you the kids meal options because lots of different things than what is on uh, the regular menu like they've scrambled eggs breakfast for dinner with pancakes uh, mac and cheese quesadilla there is a cheeseburger on the main menu and pizza obviously is on the menu as well I wonder like why, why are they all like names like Michaela's grilled cheese. Maybe it's those kids. There's only two kids. Well, maybe they're employees' kids' names. Who knows? Or employees' names. Yeah, could be. So I just want to say I really like the um the color palette in here. My uh thing. Uh oh. Worth the wait. What do you mean? Oh uh, yeah. I mean yeah, but like this is like real wood. Shutters. All the lamps. Okay, so I got the fish and chips. French fries are really good. They're a malt vinegar French fry. And she said uh, the that was the fish tacos is cod. This is grouper, and it comes with coleslaw and a sauce, which I don't have the menu to tell you what the sauce was. But presentation overall looks well. And then she has some chicken taco with three different sauces. Sausage, or I mean, I don't know what that is. So, and then we're just waiting on Richie's chicken sandwich. What she does. And there is our cheese, um, fried chicken sandwich, fried crispy chicken sandwich. That looks good. Okay, I'm down right. to the count. Here is the dessert menu. It's a little dirty, but so you have some cake options. Some they have a big Alaska key lime pie. But well, isn't baked Alaska like marshmallows or something? And then chocolate chip, walnut, sea salt. I really want to try the um, birthday cake. And then they have coffee and. They have a nitro coat though. They have a strawberry lakeside lemonade. Okay. Let's see which ones we get. Okay, so we got the big Alaskan key lime pie. We always try key lime pie everywhere we go and then we're gonna head over to the cookie bar. Although they're out of the birthday cake one, which is one I wanted to try, so We'll have to come back, even if it's just for some deviled eggs and a cookie. Also, they gave us no silverware. Yeah, waiting on that. Okay, so we are in the car because we're trying to beat traffic home to the house. Focus. Okay, so Richie had um early half a day. That's why he is with us. Yes, we picked him up and came right here. That was the plan because we realized this place had opened last week, so we wanted to. We, my mom found reservations on Open Table, so if you've never looked at Open Table, we for recommend Disney that for Disney. Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes you can find reservations available on Open Table, and you cannot find them in the Disney app. So check that out. But someone's working there for me. Yeah, really. So. Um, I really wanted to like the restaurant. I really, I really. We had some issues oh, at the end there. We're already in traffic. Um, and we're not out of the parking garage. I don't know if there's an accident. People aren't moving. So, okay, so we sent back the chicken tacos because my mom did not like those. And then she ordered a second helping of the deviled eggs because they were good. And, um... Which, honestly, I probably really wouldn't have said anything, but you... I you did. did. When she came, because we put her plate half... Like, she only ate one, not even a full taco, I don't think. No. 
and we, I put her plate Even up. Even her, she didn't care for it, right? Yeah, the lady came to take the plate, and I was like, yeah, she did not like that because it was a, I was like a waste of food. But you know, it was I just wanted to say like, hey, she didn't like it. But um, deviled eggs really good. My grouper fish and chips was really good. I think the malt That's French nice fries. Time. The malt french fries um, probably were a little much. I would have preferred, you know, to have to have regular french fries. But this parking garage is crazy, and you're backing up for what reason? To turn. So. But overall, mine was good. Richie's um, chicken sandwich was good. I really like chicken. <laughs> I can't speak. You should have just stayed where you were. Richie's chicken oh, sandwich. Oh, they have it blocked. That's nice. I need something to make sure no one side swipes you. So, um... Then we ordered dessert. I think we showed the key lime pie. Well, when my mom went to take a bite of the crust, or like to cut the crust with the spoon that we were given. Well, I tried to try and take the whole thing because, well, I mean, come on. You, at you first, like the, we, we were, the food runners dropped off the pie, but we had no silverware. So then we had to wait for the waitress to walk by to get silverware from her. And Which then, I honestly think it was the same, supposedly manager who dropped that off. Oh. And then, um, when she went to use a spoon to get a piece, you couldn't, the spoon wouldn't go through the crust. Like, the pie was still frozen. A good so, way to explain it is when you, like, buy yourself a key lime pie, put it in the freezer, and then you right. take it out for a little bit, and then you go to eat it, but the bottom is still frozen. It's still frozen when it's not thawed I mean, out. I don't even pie. think you could have cut it with a knife. Like a butter, like what they would give you in a, maybe, yeah. maybe a serrated knife. I would have been able to saw it, but that, it was. I said you should have picked it up yeah. and threw it on the plate. It would have broke out, broke the plate. So, um, that's how hard also, it was. It wasn't just the bottom crust. It was, it was, it like, was that white part too, which I was, it was, I was, was that going to be coconut? Like I was. I don't know, but it was. Oh, you know what? I think it, it didn't have lime, it didn't have lime chunks. I think that was the coconut. I think the so, coconut was mixed with the lime. Yeah, could have been. Um, so then the the lady came over. Well, I also ordered a birthday cake cookie, but she came back to say they were sold out, so I didn't get that. And where she wanted to experience the cookie bar, so we're like, oh, we'll wait, we'll get in line and look at it. Well, then the manager came over to talked to us about the pie and said that that's how it was supposed to be and it's supposed to be an ice cream cake. It comes cake, frozen. Which doesn't and make no sense. it's frozen like ice cream and I'm like you can eat ice cream it's soft. You can eat ice cream cake. <laughs> and like, I'm I got like, so oh frustrated and then he, he kept saying I can bring you the chocolate cake I can bring you the chocolate cake. I do like chocolate cake but actually reading I don't know. I wanted the key lime pie because I love key lime pie and like Lauren had said earlier we try everywhere we go I didn't want the chocolate pie and I wasn't going to pay for something I mean I don't know whether he would have gave it to us for free because I don't know I was so fed up because he was kind of arguing with me yeah and he wasn't very nice about it I wanted to say yeah give me the pie so I can take it home so I'll defrost by the time I get home and I think at the very end he did offer that to me but I said no, just take it off the bill. Because I also didn't want to pay. Like I, I, It was $17. I was, yeah. I, their desserts are outrageously priced. Everything on the menu oh, is it was expensive. Overpriced. But Your you are at Disney. Your fish and chips were $32. They were $35. Like, that's ridiculous. $35.95. You fair. got one, one filet and a whole crap ton of french fries. Yeah, french fries. You're... Even, it makes it look like luck, but it's just the french fries. And yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm so upset because I really, I think the atmosphere for that place is going to be, 
it's so nice. Yeah. But, I mean. Drinks and appetizers. Yeah, I would definitely go back for. The cheese puffs weren't that great. Yeah, I did not like Deviled eggs were our favorite. Yeah, and I did like Richie's sandwich because I had a little bite of that. And I, I really thought it was good. Um, he doesn't like the sesame bread, and I thought like the that was my favorite part of that. Honestly, like, yeah. I, th I gave it a weird taste. Yeah, um, the sesame. He doesn't like sesame seeds. But then, um, oh, your bathroom experience. <laughs> so then I went to the ladies' room, and I want to say it was a nice restroom. I mean, they just opened. Oh, it better be, right? I would say maybe like eight stalls, but out of the maybe five or six that were open, like available to go into, they didn't have the toilet seat covers yeah, in them. And only two of the stalls that were available had toilet paper roll rolls. Like how do you expect your customers to go to the restroom if you don't offer toilet paper? Wait, so, what do you mean they didn't have the toilet um, in the ladies' room, they you have the toilet have covers. covers that you lay down on the toilet seat. So when I when I came out of the bathroom, I there was a lady like in normal Disney clothes, so I assumed she was like supervisor, because that's how they tend to be dressed, just like in your normal, not in like a Disney attire or like they don't. They stand out because they're not in the same outfit as everybody else. And she was standing next to the kitchen. So, and she had the little earpiece thing in. And I said, excuse me, your ladies room is um, out of toilet paper. And then she looked at me dead in the face like, okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> and walked away. I was so, and I, I was so over the place. I had went earlier than Lauren and I went in the first stall that was open and there was toilet paper in it, but there weren't toilet seat covers. But then I went to go wash my hands and the one soap dispenser... <laughs> we're being super picky now. What? I said we're being super No, picky. but it's a brand new restaurant and it was yeah. just, it wasn't like a soap dispenser on the wall. Yeah. You had to pump it. It yeah. was just a bottle. What you would have in your house. And it, somebody probably unscrewed like it, it didn't pump it was broken i mean there was soap in there you could see it so thankfully it wasn't crowded and i was able to go over and use the other the other one but that's also not the um, cleanliness to have that kind of pump yeah it's like do they <laughs> cut that corner to open early didn't install bathroom yeah, so forever to open. Like, I don't want to get on the restaurant because overall it was nice. The food was good. We just had a couple what issues. Like, and the I staff wasn't the friendliest. Too, so I would be anxious to watch. I've only watched one video on it. Um, I would like to watch other ones. I didn't search them. My usual people that I watched one person had gone to the restaurant at this point or I had put the video up so I mean I would like to see what other you know I'm sure we're not the only ones I mean I'm glad they took the um, annual pass discount because I was ready to say think they're going to say oh we don't accept that because they don't have to they're a third party restaurant yeah they are yeah but Disney Springs restaurants are Like I said, food was, what I ordered was good. My mom has a different story. But we have issues with the lighting because of the sun. So my arm is hurting as well. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you've tried Summer House on the link. Because I feel like they have a different location. Yeah, it's originally from Cowboy. And like I said, I want to go sit, be able to sit out and sit on the like um it, like i said i like the decor i i like how if you sit in that one area there's the door you know it's like sliding windows they open all the way up so it's like i like that so this was our honest review richie overall what did you think
We still didn't try the cookies because the line was too long. So if you do order when you're in the restaurant, they bring them out to you in a bag so you can skip the line. But I kind of wanted to see them to know what I wanted to pick. And like I said, the one I wanted was sold out anyway. So our waitress did say that too. I, I just mean, said I the staff the wasn't the best. Yeah, she. The staff that we experienced wasn't the best. For when we checked in, that was all fine. The lady who sat, or the man, was it a man who sat us? Like, it was a yeah, because I said, no, it was a man, because I said he looked like Bob Ross. He wasn't the same. He sat us. Quote though. unquote. Man. He was the. Oh, you didn't uh, mention how, how you don't think that was actually. I, yeah, it, there was somebody else in the kitchen to me that looked oh my gosh. Like, like a manager or so. I'm not sure the person that actually came over to us was really, I mean, maybe it was some type of supervisor, but I don't think he was manager, manager, and he didn't even introduce himself. He said hello. But usually they would say hi, and you know, I'm the manager, what, you know, I don't know. I, I will go back. Because there's others. I want to try the pizza because I know it's thin crust pizza and I like that. Um, so, I mean, it's not like I won't be back. But it's for the service and the food, it is overpriced. I mean, even for Disney standards, it's overpriced. And we went, um, our reservation was at 1.30. So it was kind of in between the lunch and dinner rush. But there, I mean, there still was quite a few people. Yeah. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.